We're here today through a collaboration between Loughborough University, the England and Wales Cricket Board and Vicon. We're testing the England women's under-19 cricket squad who are about to fly out to the World Cup. This is primarily through the work of Professor Mark King over the last maybe 10 to 15 years through a number of PhD students and research associates, some of which have been actively involved in this work as well. We're looking today at batters facing both fast bowling and spin bowling and how their techniques may differ between the two modes of bowling, but we're also looking at the then technical characteristics that associate with the carry distance. We're assessing their power hitting technique so that we can provide feedback to them around their current power hitting technique. We can compare it to previous data in the senior women's squads tested previously and it can also feed into our ongoing research program identifying factors that are associated with success in power hitting within cricket. To do this we're using 17 Flycon cameras and that allows us excellent precision with understanding joint angles and just how the players move in relation to their performance. For issues of confidentiality we won't be showing the actual women's cricket squad performing today. All data that you will see is of the actual players however we have got a volunteer who's going to be performing the same batting task for demonstrative purposes for this video. Over the last five years or so, we've had a series of studies within power hitting in batting. However, all of that research was specifically in male batters and it's really useful for us to know whether that research applies equally to the female squads or whether we need to be coaching women differently to the coaching recommendations that we've developed in male participants. Some of the challenges women face are quite different to the men, which is why it's important to collect this research in, in the female participants. They have a different physiological makeup to the men, such as their anthropometrics being smaller than the men, so they're shorter in stature typically, and may have different strength profiles to the men. They also face a much greater proportion of spin bowling compared to the men's game, so it's important that we understand how they bat against this mode of bowling. It's really important that we specifically research female participants, ranging from junior all the way up to the elite senior players, in order to provide tailored recommendations. The nature of this collaborative research is that all parties should benefit. The ideal outcome from today is that in the short term that we can hopefully help them to assess their power hitting technique and provide some feedback on their current technique as well as any recommendations around how they differ to the elite senior squads that we've tested previously. But in a slightly more medium to long term it will also hopefully feed into our research so that we can provide those recommendations around what are the associations between technique factors and bat speed, ball speed or carry distance to ultimately determine success within a power hitting task across different ability levels and different age groups throughout England and Wales within women's cricket.